Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for one of my videos. So for today's look, I'm doing a purple smoky eye half cut crease. I'm starting off with a transition color from the Carity Matte Palette and this beautiful light peach shade and it's called Coquette. I'm applying that with a fluffy blending brush all over my eye. So before I apply the eyeshadow, I'm using an eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. and I'm applying it with a flat brush all over my eye. Okay, next up I'm using the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo palette and I'm applying this beautiful warm purple shade in the shade Tokyo Station. I'm applying that with a uh, crease brush and oh my gosh y'all, I love this color so much. One thing I love about BH Cosmetics specifically is the warm purples that they always have in their palettes. I just feel like it really makes my brown eyes pop. So I'm just applying that with a Carity um, defining crease brush, I believe, and just blending that into my crease and outward to my outer corners. To give this look some more intensity, I'm going back in with my Carity Matte Palette and I'm taking this dark purple shade called Ego on that same brush and I'm applying this to my outer corners and into my crease area. So to blend everything out, I'm taking a dense buffing brush and I'm going with the shade Coquette, which is my transition color, and just softening up these edges, softening up that crease area. I want this to be blended out very, very well. I want this to be like a smoky look. So I'm just taking my time to blend everything out. Okay, so now for the half cut crease part. This is probably my favorite part of my makeup when I do a half cut crease, it's carving out my crease. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer and I'm using this on an eyeliner brush and I'm just carving out my crease. So for hooded eyes, as you can see, I don't really have a crease when my eyes are open. So this step is super, super important to just make that lid pop. So it just opens and elongates my eye and this is like I said my favorite part because it's just so cool how it just immediately gives me a crease. So after I've carved out my lid with a concealer, I am now taking some more concealer on a flat brush to define my lid. So I'm going back into the Trendy in Tokyo palette and applying this beautiful purple shade for my lid color. For my waterline today, I'm using the Essence Cosmetics uh, Silky Nude. It's a gel eyeliner. I've only had this for a couple weeks now. Y'all, it's fire. I absolutely love it. And then I am using the Wet n Wild Pencil Eyeliner, and I'm just applying that just to further define my lower lash line. 
I'm also going to go back into that um, Carity Matte Palette and taking the shade Ego on an eyeliner brush. For my eyeliner today, I'm using the e.l.f. Liquid Liner in the shade Black. So for my mascara, I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara for the past like two years. I love this mascara. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it works really well. It's a lengthening and defining a mascara. And to really just make my lashes pop, I do a couple of coats. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Multi Stick and I'm applying it on a brush and just um, going to use this as an eyeshadow base. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm using this gorgeous shade from ColourPop. It's called Ladybird, and it's one of their super shock shadows. It's really, really intense color. You can use it um, by like you can apply it with a wet um, brush, and it's gonna pop a little bit. I used it dry this time because I wanted a more like subtle, kind of like a sparkly um, shimmer look. But when I apply it with a wet brush, it just pops like crazy. Or also, it, it pops like crazy when I apply it just on my fingers. So to complete the eyeshadow look, I'm just applying a cream brow bone highlight. So for my face, I'm using the e.l.f. Multi-Chromatic um, Stick, and it's in the shade Bronze Cherry. And I'm just blending it out with a brush. And then for today's highlight, I'm using Golden Flower Crown by Wet n Wild and I'm applying that with my fan brush. So it's time to line my lips. And if you've been watching my channel for any time now, you probably know I've been using the same lip liner for years. This is the Jordana Cosmetics Easy Liner for Lips. Y'all, you can't even find this in stores. I have to buy this online. Like, I don't even know where they sell Jordana anymore. But I'm using that in the shade Cabernet. And then for my lipstick today, I'm using LA Colors in the shade Amazed. Okay, I'm just touching everything up with a foundation brush, and here's the final look, y'all. It is bright, it is bold, it's poppin'. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and see you in my next video.